wedged and we're going to make a coil and then I'm going to spiral that coil together to make the base of a coil built pot. So the first thing I want to do is kind of squeeze this into a tube. A lot of people get their little ball clay out of the bag and they're just ready to go roll and that's actually not what you want to do. You want it mostly in that shape. Then you're going to use fingertips to roll, not your palms, because that will end up drying the clay out if you touch it a lot. So I'm going to be rolling back and forth and as I do that I'm going to move my hands out. This is the coil dance. So I'm applying pressure with my fingertips and moving outward. Until I get it a little bit thicker than my thumb. This is our first coil, so we want it to be fairly strong. Now I'm simply going to have this curl in like a little snail shell. And you want the base of your pot to be about two to three inches in diameter. So that's a good size. If your coil is really long, you might have to just stop when you get to this size and uh, use that clay for something else. So I've already kind of smushed this together and I'm picking it up, which is important because I don't want this to get squished under the table for what the next part of what I'm doing. Then at the end of this session, if I pull it off, then it's gonna to stick to the table and rip up. So I'm gonna put it in my palm, and I'm just gonna take my fingers and start to erase these lines by smushing the clay from the other coil across that crack. And then I want to do that for all those areas. So that it's all one solid piece. And then you can kind of form it so it's more circular. Uh, you could roll it a little bit. You don't want to squish this too much. Otherwise you end up with an oval, not a circle. Um, but that way, the way I had that in my palm, I don't have to worry about it uh, sticking to the table. This is probably all you'll have time to do in one session um, after you get the hang of rolling coils. And you'll put this together and then you'll want to bag it up again.